So I was shooketh, okay, when I found out that sellers are making $16,000 a month from selling personalized napkins on Etsy. Like, the sh the shookery that's happening in my brain right now is crazy. Hey good people, it's your girl Alex here. Welcome if you are new, and then welcome back if you've been here before. I hope you are doing well. So I recently discovered that you can make $16,000 a month from selling personalized napkins. Now specifically, these are personalized cocktail napkins, and I mean, these can be used for any type of occasion you want to throw. Oh. My earring just fell out. One moment, please. Now, the cool thing about this opportunity is that this product is offered on Printify, which is a print-on-demand platform that allows you to have a small business without having to have any inventory. Now, as a new seller myself, I really make sure that I validate all of the new product ideas I have because if you're anything like me, I know that you don't like wasting your time, okay? So, I'm gonna be using my Everbee tool to validate this product that's making $16,000 and also pick up some more inspo along the way. Way. Okay, so now I'm in Etsy and if you watched my videos before then you know I like to start off in Etsy with a clean slate So I typically just log out of my own account so that way my search can be um, Pretty organic when I'm searching for things and not based off of what I'm looking up in my own account So I always advise that you are signed out when you're doing your Etsy research Okay, so from the top I am going to search personalize I'm gonna say cocktail napkins because I just feel like it gives me an idea of what this napkin is gonna be used for. So I'm just gonna start off with co cocktail napkin. I'm gonna hit search. Okay, so cocktail napkins are pulling up 14, over 14,000 in the search results. And I can just see like what's selling, what's going on. A lot of bestsellers, a lot of Etsy picks, which is great. So you get to see what's working. What I'm seeing is a lot of script font followed by kind of like a serif font over here. Um, again, serif text, script text. I see dogs, dog portrait, dog portrait, dog portrait. Got it. Okay, so this gives me an idea of what would be a really good design idea, right? How to make it similar but different. So to validate that this product is earning $16,000 a month, okay, this is leave your job money at this point. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here to my left-hand side and use my Everbee extension under product analytics. Now that this has loaded, I am actually going to filter in the monthly revenue column. Okay, so I clicked it twice and the first number y'all, as you can see here, over $16,000, honestly. And what this also tells me, just looking at the first top one that's earning the most, number one, it gives me a preview of like the design idea. So the design concept I can add to a napkin. Um, it gives me the price that I can kind of be in range when it comes to selling this product. It also gives me how long this product has been up. So thinking about more of on an evergreen perspective and selling all year round, okay, outside of the seasonal times, this is a good indication that it does that as well. It's been favorited over 5,000 times. It has reviews and this is the amount of views that it has as well. So this gives me so much hope and joy and it just lets me know that you just never know what's selling. I mean, there's so many products, honestly, outside of t-shirts that you can sell and still make a really healthy living when it comes to being an Etsy seller. So now that I have like an idea I still scroll down to see what's like the next best potential because you just never know you could take one idea and kind of like merge it to something else it's so many opportunities right so I scroll down to see what else is selling what they're selling for how long they've been up so forth and so on and honestly you guys I mean such a good opportunity and it's kind of like unbelievable that a product like this can sell this much I mean at least to me like I'm just sitting here like I just can't believe that napkins are making this much money and Clearly I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> so now that I have validated this product and I'm seeing what's working, now it's time to use my next favorite tools, which is Canva and Creative Fabrica to go ahead and come up with something before I upload it to Printify. So before I show you how to design this product, I just wanted to mention that this product is on the higher end when it comes to barriers of entry. You have like your low barrier to entry products and you have your higher barriers. This is on the higher end when it comes to this product just because of the nature of it. It's paper, you have to think about the shipping and all that good stuff. So I just wanted to preface that if the prices look crazy, listen, that's only because this product tends to sell higher just due to the nature of 
up it's a napkin it comes in a set and things like that but this will allow you to charge more for this product just because you're going to be paying more when you're sending your orders through Printify okay so now I'm in Printify Printify is free to sign up okay so you know money needed at all when it comes to using Printify you don't need anything to get started so what I'm gonna do is just type in napkins and what I like to do is just select USA just so I know that the product is coming from the United States and all that good stuff it just avoids having to deal with things when it comes to international shipping that I don't want to deal with honestly so I am just going to use United States and lo and behold we have a product that we can sell so rolling down like I mentioned this is a high product so this is going to cost a pretty penny when it comes to selling this but if you have a big budget this shouldn't phase you okay I honestly think that if you're just getting started is this the right product to start out with no especially if you have a low 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 budget I would not recommend this let me just say that putting it out there, being honest with y'all. However, if you have a healthy budget, okay, a couple thousand, this is gonna be a good product to start with because then you can up, upsize, or not upsize, upcharge this product just because you're paying so much to get it processed. So now that we got all of that out the way, okay, so this product to pricing it and shipping is, you know, what it is here, $22.30. If you don't have the Printify Premium, which is just signing up, paying a subscription basically to get lower prices. So if you don't have Printify Premium, then you would just pay $22.30 plus the shipping and then it gives you like the average production time, which I would say this should just kind of be rounded up to about three business days, okay? That's how I read it. And then it only prints on the front side, which is one side. It gives you the size options and the color. So now that we've gotten that out the way, this is a product that is proven to make $16,000 a month on Etsy. And so now when it comes to designing, I'm going to hit this green button and start designing. Okay, so here's the napkin, but this is actually the size that we're gonna be working with. So what I like to do just to have and make sure I have the right size, I go ahead and use the design template that's um, offered in the bottom left-hand corner. When you download this template, you just have the right margins every single time. So that way you don't have to guess and go go back and redo it, you know, do it again. You can just have the design template and that's what I use every single time. So once you design that, you're able to find it, then you wanna go to Canva. So I already have it open here and I already made a design that I'll show you here in just a second. But just to zoom in a little bit, this is the same template that's offered on Printify. So I designed that and so this is what you'll get. This box in the middle pretty much is just like your instructions. I would not focus on this at all. What I, should, what I will focus on um, are the red and black lines. So you'll see that the black outline is where you would actually put the design and then this is a full size. The red, the red line is the full size you need to upload the actual product into the generator, Printify generator. So just knowing that, that means that basically you just have to keep your design within this box. And I'm doing this in real time, so I'm sorry if my mouse is delayed or anything, but this is what I'm doing in real time. So now that I have the design template in Canva, and also if you wanna know what this actual canvas is, like what this canvas is, if I go to file, I can show you that I did the 14 inches by 16 inches just so I can have enough space to design it. I can always put something off to the side, pull it down. I always kind of go a little bit bigger so that way I know what I'm working with. Because ultimately, it doesn't matter how big this is in Canva. What matters is the actual design template that you're going to be using and to stay within the parameters of the design template from Printify. So now that I said all of that, I also have Creative Fabrica open. If you're wanting to use Creative Fabrica, Fabrica. I'll leave my link listed down below so that way you can access thousands and thousands of designs okay for a small fee so creative Fabrica I love it okay I find so many good things here I find so much inspo when it comes to designing so what I'm gonna do is I'm thinking of for the napkin it could be something related to like I said a party so I'm gonna do like wedding um, or like a champagne toast because I think about when you're toasting and you might need a glass to toast and all that good stuff in case it spills that's how my wheels are spinning right now and so I'm gonna type in champagne toast 
So it gives me some ideas and I get to see what graphics I can use. So right here, I like how it's like clink clink and it, it indicates that you're making the champagne toast sound. You can use this one as well. Just getting some inspo of what I can really add to the napkin. Like not too much, right? Because we still want a minimal look. What I've been seeing on Etsy is that it was that minimal look. So it wasn't too much on the napkin. It was just enough. It was elegant. It was minimal. And I want to be in that same pattern. So basically, I'm going to choose this one. And if you right click and you select open in the new tab, then you won't lose your spot. I learned that from Cassie Johnson. Shout out to Cassie. So I went ahead and just um, used this design. I like the champagne toast celebrating. And I'm going to think of ways to really make this become very um, idealistic on an actual napkin. So what I ended up doing once I downloaded it, you can tell that I've downloaded it from this little disclaimer down here. So I already have this file. So next I'm going to go back into Canva. And in my second canvas here, I actually made something that will be very like celebratory and to put on this napkin. So literally as simple as it is, you guys, I just did cheers, the champagne, you know, toasting glasses. And so to personalize it, I went ahead and added the couple's names just to make it even more special. So a name and then the actual date that they've gotten married. And this is how you can kind of one up your competitors because nine times out of 10, people are going to buy it even more if they can customize and personalize a product. So if I was someone a product the wedding party and I'm looking for a product that is going to be special to the bride and groom. I'm going to look for napkins specifically and napkins where I can have their name on it. That's just going to win me over just because I am I find exactly what I'm looking for. So I just simply added this design in from Creative Fabrica. I just simply typed out text, okay? Then I just added the date when they're getting married. You can use whatever font, but since I noticed, let me pull up Etsy again. Since I noticed that a lot of these font styles are scripted and like I said, the serif font, kind of like the professional stylizing of fonts, I just know that this is going to be a really good font combo to use. Listen, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So that's what I'm going to go with and that's what I did. So just going back to Etsy, this is what I ended up doing for the napkin design and just to put it out there to see if this is going to really like earn $16,000 a month. Now, just to add a little bit more special sauce, since we saw a lot of dog silhouettes, you can go and create a Fabrica and type in a dog silhouette. And you have so many ideas. I mean, you can like specify if you want to niche down, you can specify by breed, okay? And do like, I don't know, boxer silhouette, pit bull silhouette. And then you can add this as well to the napkin. Now I'm gonna do a little bit something different here. I'm gonna do dog face silhouette. Okay, so this is what we were seeing on those napkins, like the dog face silhouette, okay? Very detailed, intricate dog faces that can be put on a napkin. Um, and you guys see what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to point out what I'm seeing and how to search for it and just to, you know, make it even better. You can even do something that's funny. People love their dogs. And so having something like this on a napkin with the couple's name and the date. So that's another idea. So hopefully you're getting ideas from this video as to what's really working because this is exactly what I do. Every time I see a winning product or a product that has potential, I do my research. I do the same thing over and over because success leaves clues, you guys. Don't forget that, okay, when it comes to finding out what works well. So now that I feel like I have a good idea of what design will work on a cocktail napkin, I'm just going to make sure I group all of my designs together in the text. So I just did that by dragging everything, selecting group in Canva. And so now I'm going to bring it up here in my template. Now what I like to do, so just to make sure that my template doesn't move, I lock it by just selecting this um, lock and pencil icon and I just can unlock it whenever I need to but just to lock it in your toolbar here up top just select your lock position or the little lock here's my design here kind of floating in the background and as I drag it up I can see that it fits 
perfectly in the design template just like I want it and so I think that this is great and then from there once I make sure it fits into the template I resize it if need be so it can be as big as I want it to but not too much you know just kind of like just right and so once I do that I drag it back down to my blank canvas I use this a lot so I kind of like to keep my template where they are so I won't have to mess with it and I just make a separate canvas and so from there I'm going to um, um, export this I do have the Canva Pro account I'm going to be using my background remover pretty much of the transparent background option I'm going to increase the size just so it can give it a higher quality when importing it into Printify so I move the size resolution scale up a notch just so it can like I said just have that better quality in case this is all black text and I just want it to really look good on the napkin I just increase that quality I select my transparent background to remove that background this is a Canva Pro feature. I also leave this link down below for you too so that way you can use Canva Pro for free for 30 days and so I will just pretty much just get the right slide which is page two. Select done, download that and then I'll move on to Printify to upload this on this product so you guys can see that that's where I've <clears throat> so you can see the finished product basically. So I'm just going to find this design I just saved real quick. And there you have it. So now it's perfect on the napkin. It fits perfectly because I use the design template. If I need to crop it, I can. Printify gives me a lot of tips too to use. So I can do that. I can drag it over to just make sure that the, the background is transparent. And I think it looks great. If I did want it to resize it, I still can. I have more than enough room to do that. And so now what I do is select preview on Printify. And it's going to give me an actual preview of what this napkin is going to look like and that is pretty much it so wow this looks really nice okay I can click to see what it looks like in other settings this is the second option for this napkin like when it's open um but just as like the little shorter napkins this is what it looks like I love it you can see it when it comes like if it's like delivered on a plate basically you have so many options I mean I think that this is a really really great idea and it's something that a lot of people don't think about too I love finding products that not a lot of people think about because you really can hit a gold mine okay so this is pretty much it when it comes to making this $16,000 a month product you guys okay all it takes is an Etsy account Printify account learning what's working using Canva and Creative Fabrica and then once you have it all together you can put it on your product mock-up and you are good to go my friend it's as easy as that now the next steps will be to optimize this listings SEO so focus on the title the descriptions and the tags okay but if I were to break down SEO in this video it will be way too long child okay so I advise you to just learn how to validate your product first develop that skill let it become habitual okay let it become an easy habit for you so that way you know how to go about validating products to find really really good sellers now if you are interested in knowing some SEO tips then be sure to subscribe so that way you'll catch my next video when I drop that as always thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna catch you in my next video bye y'all